It is a double edged sword. We're talking about the museum fire. It's still burning tonight up in Flagstaff, but it's flash flooding. That is now the biggest concern. Arizona's Weather Authority has team coverage for you tonight. Meteorologist Paul Horton is tracking the potential for storms up in the high country. But first, Kim Powell shows us how the community now preparing. Kim? Yeah, seeing the fire is only about 12% contained, so the rain is definitely welcome in their firefight, but too much could cause other problems for homeowners. Officials say it's time for them to prepare now before it's too late. Thank you for being here tonight. It has been a long couple of days. And those days are not over with yet. It was a packed meeting in Flagstaff as smoke still looms over the town and the fire continues to burn through timber. Our main objective is to keep this burn scar as small as possible. Um, the reason for that, less runoff. While firefighters tackle the flames, those who were evacuated earlier this week were able to go back home and start preparing for monsoon storms. It was so great to see so many people today as I went through the to the different sandbag stations, seeing what I know about the goodness of our mountain town, which is neighbors helping neighbors. Officials are visiting the most at risk homes in person and putting in barriers to protect those properties. They say homeowners should not underestimate the power of a flood. Keep in mind that as we accumulate water in the drainage from maybe two, three or four successive days of rain, the flood threat gets greater and greater. And city officials are also recommending people get flood insurance if they don't already have it. United Way and Northern Arizona will be taking donations for those affected by the floods and seeing you have a better idea of what areas are bearing down for that weather. Yeah, it's the proximity of the museum fire that is so worrisome. That's because here's downtown Flagstaff. There's NAU right under that red banner, just two miles north, about a mile actually from city limits. Here's the footprint. Look at this growth from burnout operations on the north and look at the east flank. It's now gone over Little Mount Eldon. They don't want it running all the way out to the highway, but here's the flooding problem. It's all along the southern flank. This is all down slope from an already burned out area, and there's Mount Eldon Lookout Road, and look at these dozens and dozens of homes all down through the southern flank. That's where they're most concerned tonight if there's another storm up over the burn scar. All right, there's free sandbags. They're available for families concerned about the potential for flooding. Volunteers got them pre-filled, so they're just ready to go. They're at Coconino High School. They've already given out thousands. Just head to the south parking lot. Paul, when, when should people start worrying about flooding or the potential for storms? Well, yeah, the threat of storms again tomorrow scene, but uh, let's get an update now. What's going on tonight? As you can see here in the valley, pretty quiet conditions, but we'll zoom on up towards uh, areas of Flagstaff. In fact, uh, let's take it full here. You can see up towards the Flagstaff area. Yeah, uh, just a few light showers this evening. That's the good news today. Just had some light shower activity, but tomorrow's forecast calls for a better chance of uh, thunderstorms, especially in the afternoon hours, just after lunchtime. We'll hit a high tomorrow of 82 degrees with about a 60% chance of uh, thunderstorms. We'll continue to monitor that situation. And what's ahead for our forecast tomorrow? Well, we'll see a chance of uh, some monsoon weather coming into our neighborhood. We'll let you know in just a few minutes.